Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So you guys might have thought that like, oh, Tori's gonna look like good in this video. <laughs> no. Okay, so the intention was that like I was gonna look good. So I started doing it with my hair in a bun, t-shirt on, and then I was just like, you know what? This really failed. Did I even explain what I'm doing? I'm doing a Sephora haul, but you know how everyone does like clothing try-on hauls? I did a try-on Sephora haul, and it really just failed and it completely backfired in my face and I don't want to put lashes on, I don't want to do my hair, I don't want to look nice right now because it just failed and completely backfired on me. So with that being said, subscribe to my channel. No, but um, for real, subscribe. Um, I upload videos all the time. Let me just take this plug real quick. I upload all the time. I know you'll love my content. Um, just subscribe. But anyway, did you subscribe? I went to Sephora yesterday because I wanted to do a Sephora haul for you guys. I saw a Jocelyn Hills video and I was like, you know what? I do miss hauls. Like, it's time I go do one. So I went to Sephora. I got a bunch of stuff and I was really excited to film it. And then I was like, you know what? Like, I'm going to use pretty much all these products tomorrow to get ready. I may as well film a try on Sephora haul and, you know, be innovative. I'm sure I'm not the very first person to ever do this because it's kind of just like a full face first impressions type of video. Um, so I used all the products to create a full face. And it really just failed. Like, a lot of the products I got the wrong shades of, and it just backfired on me. And, you know, I was going to a photo shoot after this, but now I'm not going to go to a photo shoot looking like this, so I'm going to have to redo my face. And um, I didn't even put fake eyelashes on. That's how south this went. I'm sure if I put on a pair, it would look a lot better. But, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to say that this looks good because you guys are nice like that. But just know that it's not good. It does not look good. Um, I guess the lesson to be learned here is don't always do a full face with new products and then expect to go somewhere afterwards. You guys are going to laugh because now you guys know that it failed, but in the beginning I like really thought it was going to look good. So you guys can kind of laugh at me for that. So without further ado, let's get on to my fail of a Sephora haul try on. Full face first impressions video. Here we go. Yay! I'm so excited. I haven't like touched it or anything. Alright, so I have three hair products, but um, I'm going to go over that at the end. Alright, so the first thing that I got is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. I've heard everyone talk about this. Jaclyn, Manny, um, everyone. They've all just been like obsessing over it. Um, I have the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick and it broke me out and it just looks so thick on me and I got the color beige so my face is a little bit light but like my body is more tint like my neck is fading too because I washed my face and my neck but I just bring the foundation like down okay so I already primed I'm just gonna do like three I don't know is that too much I mean I see Jacqueline she puts a lot on but okay I'm gonna start small It's looking really, really yellow on camera, but like in person, it does not look like that. So I like it. It blended out very easily. Um, at first glance, it, it's a little thick looking, but it looks nothing as thick as that Makeup Forever. I think the coverage is really nice and it didn't take a lot to cover my face, which was nice. But overall, it was pretty good. The next thing that I got is the Kat Von D Lock It Brightening Powder. And I got this in the shade Peach because I'm a little bit more tan than I am pale these days. Let's see, do you bake with this? I'm not going to bake with this because that just seems like a lot of peach to me. If I should bake in the future, comment below and let me know. But to me, if I bake with this, it just seems like it's a lot of peach. So I'm going to apply my concealer and then I'm going to go right into the product. There were three tones of this. There was pink yellow and peach maybe i should have gotten the pink now that i'm looking at it because the peach kind of just matched my foundation i definitely should have gotten the pink because this just like matches a little too well with my foundation color but i think it just honestly did like the reverse okay so that's not a mistake on the products fault. Well, i should have gotten a lighter shade i mean it looks nice besides the color it looks nice 
on the skin and it said it, I mean, it seems pretty weightless if you ask me, but I'm gonna go set this with a lighter shade and then set the rest of my face. Okay, so um, I rate this, like, it, it did what it said. I have a photo shoot today, so I'm gonna see if it has flashback, but um, I just went over it with a little bit of bake to brighten it up, but I just got the wrong color, so not the product's fault. Obviously, it's my fault, but it did say for medium skin tones, and like, I would kind of call myself, like, I'm not pale, I would kind of say medium. So if they're, you know, talking more towards like medium olive skin tones, they should like market that better. Or if they mean like darker skin tones, they should market that better because that, like, I know makeup and I even bought the wrong shade, you know what I mean? So I guess that was kind of just my fault. Okay, next thing I finally got my hands on was a custom enhanced cover drops, cover effects drops. Um, and I got the shade Sunlight. Literally, they have been sold out in every single shade every single time I've been to Sephora. I hope it's gonna be light enough, you know? You know, I might like just completely mess up my face, but like I really want this on my face, so I can always lighten it back up. I think this is too dark because like when I turn to the side it looks awesome but then you look at me dead on and you can see the line you know I was really excited guys I was literally gonna like wear this look out to my photo shoot today but you know I already messed up twice now so I guess I just stay right buying the wrong shades um, it's good but it's not like as intense as I really thought it was gonna be Don't you, do you guys see what I'm talking about? Like dead on, you can see where the highlight is and you can see it's a little bit dark. Then you turn to the side and it's like, oh, there you are. But like dead on, I can see it and there's no glow and I don't like that. And I also, that happens to me with my Jeffree Star highlighter and I don't like that either. So if I had the right color, I'm sure this would look a little bit better, but, um, even with the right color, I have a feeling it would do the same thing where you could like see the highlight. All right, let's move on to the eyes. So I got two of the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. All right, so this is Rose Gold Retro and this is Smoky Storm. I was playing around with these in the store and like they really seem like no joke. And Desi just put up a video with them, so I'm pretty excited. Excited. They seem really fun. I'm gonna go with the smoky storm today just because I always do like warm looks So I'm gonna try something new and to go along with this. I also picked up this little guy He was so cute. I had to pick him up. He was like in that, you know, grab-and-go section of Sephora that literally gets everyone Yeah, that's where he got me the Highlighter looks really good from the side, but like It just it squishes my face in so this is the Tardis Pro to go. It's so cute and the colors are just to die. Like look how cute this is. I'm not really gonna go over like what I'm doing. I'm just kind of gonna kind of go and I'm gonna try and use as much of these colors as I can. You know the thing about a to go palette like this is like yeah it's great that you have your eyeshadows but then it's like you need to bring your brushes with you. And is anyone really gonna do that? I would. I think the color scheme of this palette is really, really well put together. I think they all work beautifully. I'm going to do like the golds on tops and then um, the burgundy on the lower lash line. Should I be applying this with a brush or the applicator? And I'm curious to see how much it transfers because that already just looks amazing. So it definitely like moves. Maybe I like didn't even give it enough time to like set and settle. I'm literally just throwing a look together right now so I don't know if it's even gonna be cute. I don't even know if I'm gonna put on false eyelashes with this. This kind of just became like a mess of a video. This has become just like a complete and utter disaster. Like that just went away. Maybe it was because I was blending it too hard. But they did go away and they didn't really ever set down. I'm kind of disappointed by them to be completely honest. This highlight looks so bad. Like I just can't even get over it. So bad. 
so much fallout that I didn't even see. Probably not the palette's fault, it's probably just because I was being messy. Oh, what do I rate these? Okay, so these, um, I'm a little disappointed by the, um, I have to play with them more. Like, that's what I'm gonna say, I have to play with them more. I am a little bit disappointed by how quickly they like transfer and stuff, and I'm a little disappointed that they don't dry down completely. And I'm a little disappointed that, um, well, I guess it dries down. Like, mm, no, it doesn't. Once it sets, it, it's just kind of hard to work with. I'm gonna keep playing with these, so don't think I hate these because I don't. Um, I'm gonna keep playing with them. I'm definitely gonna use them in upcoming toots, but like right now, it's just not my thing. And like on the back of my hand, like they stay looking glittery and they stay looking awesome. But if you guys can see, like when you rub it, it gets everywhere. So they never completely dry down and it's very it's very flaky. Um, and then the Tardis Partico, I really think that these colors are great. Obviously they're Tarte shadows, so they're really, really good. Um, it's a cute little palette. You could do this um, really bad eye look if you wanted to uh, with it. And um, yeah, but I can definitely do like more looks on this if you guys want. It's a really cute palette. And I didn't even know that it was a thing until I saw it in Sephora. Last two things. I got two uh, lip products from NARS. The first one is a lip glide in the shade Unlaced. Now these are very weird if you like liquid lipsticks because these never dry down. They are like a cream lip lipstick on your lips at all times. So you might not like these if you like lip liquid lips. I like these because they feel moisturized on my lips. But yeah, I'm excited to put this color on. I've been trying to branch out and not do just nude, so I got like a pinky nude. The color is really, really pretty. The formula is like to die. I love this formula. So. I'm a big fan. The only thing is that, like I said, it never dries down. So you know, if you eat, if you drink, if you kiss someone, if you, whatever you do, it's gonna, it's gonna eventually come off, um, and it's gonna come off in kind of like full force. The last makeup product that I got is a lip gloss, and this is in the shade Orgasm. No, this is Super Orgasm. No, this is just Orgasm. Um, a girl in my Rokai group had this lip gloss, and I was obsessed with it. All rush, and I never got it, so I just picked it up. Don't look at this with the eyes, but it's a really pretty shade. I just love NARS lip glosses, but like, yeah, don't look at this with my eyes because it's a hot mess. So the last three things are all hair products. So the first one is triple sec. This is a dry shampoo, texturizes, amplifies, refreshes your hair. Um, when I got a dry bar blowout with Danielle, who else other than Danielle Marie would I get a blowout with? Um, they use this and I was like, what is this? And she told me and I was like, oh, okay. So um, yeah, I picked it up. Next thing I got is Hot Toddy. This is a heat and UV protectant. Um, I'm just doing, oh, that smells really good. I just do this because my hair is getting bleached and more bleached every day. So I need to keep it protected and I don't use the heat protectant right now. So I just got this to put it when my hair is Damp. I would have rather had a spray, but I kind of think that this will work a little bit better because um, it'll protect me from blow drying and it also protects you from heat and UV. But I think UV is kind of good because that'll make my hair more blonde. Last thing that I got is the Way Dry Shampoo Foam. I just hit myself. I'm really nervous to try this. Honestly, I'm going to use this on a day that like I don't like. I'm going to put this in right before I shower because. The concept freaks me out. It's like putting mousse in dry hair and that freaks me out, okay? Like I could never do that. So I'm very anxious to see if I like how this looks or how it feels in my hair. I just wanna do a little. <gasps> ah. Just the concept really freaks me out guys, but everyone says that they love it, so. I'm gonna try it and it gives you like insane volume, which I don't really need because I have a lot of volume. It freaks me out. I really, I'm, I'm a little worried. You know, I really thought I was gonna be like innovative and like start something new, but I didn't. So yeah, if you guys wanna see my last video, that is right 
here. Sorry, I suck. It's right here. It's my very last video. It's how to fill in your eyebrows. Go check it out. And then up here is the makeup tutorial where I actually do look pretty and I know how to do my makeup. So check that out. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. That is it for my terrible idea. You know, I really thought I was going to be like innovative and like start something new, but I didn't. So yeah, if you guys want to see my last video, that is right here. Sorry, I suck. It's right here. It's my very last video. It's how to fill in your eyebrows. Go check it out. And then up here is the makeup tutorial where I actually do look pretty and I know how to do my makeup. So check that out. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.